I found 12 AI related work from home jobs that you can do in 2024. And the first one on the list is going to be a chat bot trainer. So as you can imagine, this is getting more and more common. Companies are basically using chat bots that are trained using AI to answer people's questions. But the truth is it's not perfect yet. And a lot of them still need a lot of human input in order to make their answers better and better. And this actually doesn't require extensive knowledge of AI. It's relatively beginner friendly and all you really need is common knowledge around the subject of AI. And this is a burgeoning field that is increasingly being more and more automated. And this is a great opportunity for people who have strong language and analytical skills. And here's a story about a guy who is basically the backup to a real estate AI. And he basically just worked with the AI for one year and made sure that the property chatbot didn't blow its cover. So he's kind of like a person pretending to be a computer that's pretending to be a person, which is kind of funny. And he said that he made about $25 an hour and he worked between 15 and 30 hours a week. So it was pretty good money, especially considering the fact that he was just doing it part time. And chatbot trainers make about 57 to $93,000 a year. By the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like to. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be doing a free training on how to grow and monetize your YouTube channel. And it's going to be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. It'll be a live interactive Zoom call with me where I can answer questions that you have about YouTube. And I'll also be revealing the five biggest secrets when it comes to growing and making money from YouTube. And this is what you can do to either add a couple thousand dollars a month to your income or even grow a full-time income purely from making content on YouTube. And when I started out on YouTube, I was working as a pharmacist full-time, but within a few months of starting, I was getting messages like this in my inbox. And all of a sudden I was adding thousands of dollars on top of my full-time job. Now, if you wanna do the same, make sure to join the live training because I'll also be giving away a free mini course only to the people who show up to it. It. This is not going to happen anywhere else. There will be no replays and there's limited seating. So make sure you sign up by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And I look forward to seeing you there. Next is going to be an AI related content creator. Now there's a million different ways that you can use AI to create content. And the truth is AI by itself is not creating amazing content right now. What's wrong? Seriously, you auto updating now? Damn. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, damn. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. My power went out randomly. Anyways, I'm back now. As I was saying, AI by itself can't create amazing content yet. And I honestly think after using a lot of AI that it's years away from being able to actually create good content. However, it can help you create amazing content. So you can use it to 10X your output and make 10 times as much really good content as you could before. And that's exactly what we've done on this channel. We utilize AI in order to make our content even better. And content creators in general make about 48 to $80,000 a year, and that's just in jobs. If you start your own YouTube channel, for instance, you can make a lot more than that. For instance, this channel that you're watching right now makes over six figures a month. And I've actually trained a bunch of other people how to make a ton of money with YouTube as well. And I do actually accept a few students every month to train them and mentor them personally. However, I'm very picky about who I accept. I had over 250 applicants last month and I only accepted a few people. But with that being said, the biggest thing that I'm looking for is that you're dedicated to growing on YouTube. So if you think you're the type of person who is really dedicated to making sure that you can put in the work and you're really wanting to grow on YouTube, it's your number one priority, you can go ahead and apply down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And additionally, if you're not that type of person, there's still some free training, which you can check out down there as well. So yeah, using AI to enhance your content creation skills, both making it better as well as being able to do more of it is excellent. I would go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. Next is a search engine evaluator. So search engines obviously use AI quite a bit. Now, as you can imagine, because AI is so involved in search engines, search engine evaluators do have to have at least a basic understanding of how AI works. And this would be a great idea if you want some entry level experience into getting into how AI actually works. So search engine evaluators make about 46 to 70 $76,000 a year. And basically they evaluate the accuracy of search engine results. So when you type something into a search engine, you expect a certain output or a certain answer to the question that you asked. Sometimes search engines are
are great. I'd say a lot of the time they are, but sometimes they come up with pretty garbage answers. And as a search engine evaluator, you would want to look into those and make sure that they come up with better answers overall. And here you go. Here's some opportunities. You can check them out. So really cool job. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a prompt engineer. And this is a really exciting new career path that you can get into. Now in the computer programming world, there's this concept called Geigo, which means garbage in garbage out. And basically what that means is if you have garbage programming, you're going to get garbage output. Or in other words, if you have garbage input, you'll get garbage output. And the same thing applies to prompts. If you have good prompts, you're going to get good outputs. And if you have bad prompts, you're going to get bad outputs. And that's what prompt engineering is all about is creating really good prompts that the AI can understand, and it'll give you a really good output. And there's many different ways that you can do this professionally, you can get a job, you can do this as a freelancer, or you could start your own business doing this. For instance, if you start your own business, you can basically go into other businesses, look at all their normal processes that they do on a day to day basis, and then make prompts that are going to be really good to populate those processes to either completely automate them, or at least streamline them. And AI prompt engineers make 97 to 142 thousand dollars a year but prompt engineer jobs can pay up to three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars a year and here you go here's some opportunities you can check them out so yeah this is a really good one it's also relatively easy to get into it as you can imagine there aren't any prompt engineering degrees or anything like that so you pretty much can get into this as long as you just self-study and you know your stuff and so I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score by the way if you're watching this video and enjoying it go ahead gently tap that like button and let's get into the next one which is going to be an AI sales engineer. And this is somebody who blends their tech expertise with persuasive sales skills. And they act as a bridge between complex AI solutions and potential clients. And there's high demand for this position in tech companies, especially those that specialize in AI and machine learning products. And a number of companies are going to look more at your sales skills rather than your AI skills. So your AI skills don't have to be that developed. And sales engineers typically make about 98 to $174,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on screen. You can pause the video and check them out. So yeah, this is another really good one. I'll go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you want to get some sales skills, one of the easiest jobs to get into that would be a great prerequisite to getting into this job would be tech sales and specifically a business development representative job. And I've actually helped a bunch of people on this channel. I've even interviewed them and everything get into this type of career. And luckily, I actually have some free training, which you can check out down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below that'll tell you everything you need to know about tech sales and exactly how you can get into the career yourself. So definitely check that out. It's completely free. Go ahead, click the link down in the description or the pinned comment below. Next is going to be an AI researcher. And this is somebody who is devoted to developing and enhancing AI technologies. And they work on creating intelligent systems that can think, learn and adapt. Now, to be honest with you, this is a very advanced job. You do have to have advanced AI related skills. But with that being said, the AI industry is growing at over 36% per year, which is absolutely amazing. And it's just crazy. And so there's no way that there's enough AI experts to keep up with that kind of demand. So you can probably get into these types of jobs with a mediocre level of AI skill. So you could probably get away with having certain certifications, for instance. So this is one of those things where you can study on your own, create a good portfolio, and you can get a job. And AI researchers make about $100,000 to $173,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like to. So yeah, this is a really good one, a little harder to get into. So I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a digital content strategist. And this is somebody who develops content strategies using AI technologies to enhance the content creation and also be able to create the content faster. So for instance, you might have a long video and and you can use AI to just automatically chop that video up into smaller parts and then putting them into shorts. And then you can use those shorts to promote the original video. And if all of this had to be done manually, it would be done very slowly. But since you have AI to help you, it can be done much more quickly. And that's just one example out of hundreds of different things that you can use AI for when it comes to digital content creation. And I like this saying that content is fire and social media is gasoline. And digital content strategists make about 62 to $104,000 a year. And here you go. Here's some opportunities. You can check them out. Now, by the way, comment down below if you like any of these careers or if you think there's some that I should have mentioned. And there's a very good chance that I'll talk about them more 
more in the future. So yeah, digital content strategist, really good one. I'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a data analytics coordinator. So in this particular case, it could be related to AI or it might not be related. So you would want to pick one that's actually related to AI. And in this position, you would manage and analyze data to derive insights that inform business decisions and strategies. And these professionals are commonly employed by a wide range of different companies, such as technology firms, financial institutions, healthcare organizations, and even retail companies. Basically, any business that relies on data to drive their operations, which is like most of them, basically. And in this position, you'd expect to make about ninety three dollars to $139,000 a year. So yeah, this is one where you could get into it with some certifications, like taking certifications on Coursera. I've talked about that on the channel quite a bit. You could also get a statistics degree or some sort of data related degree. By the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. There are many different ways to get into this, but either way, it's a great career. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an AI product manager. And this is somebody who's responsible for the development and oversight of AI related products. Now you might think that you'd have to be like an AI genius in order to do this. And in reality, maybe 10 or 20 years from now, you would have to be. But right now, there's just not that many AI geniuses out there. So you can get away with having a pretty basic level level of knowledge when it comes to AI. However, you still have to have product management skills. And product management is kind of like being a CEO, except with training wheels. So it's an amazing opportunity to basically learn some of the skills involved in being a CEO in case you want to start your own business in the future, or if you want to be an executive without actually having to risk your own time and money. And AI product managers make really good money, about $155 to $241,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like to. So yeah, this is a really good one but at the same time, it's a little harder to get into. I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an AI consultant. And this is basically a position where they specialize in consulting and guiding different types of businesses on implementing AI solutions. So basically your job is to identify different use cases and collaborate with technical experts inside of businesses so that you can properly implement AI. And a recent McKinsey survey found that 56% of companies have adopted AI in at least one function within their organization, which is a 50% increase from the previous year. So yeah, companies are hiring AI consultants more and more. And this position pays about $103,000 to $163,000 a year. So if you have some consulting knowledge, you add on AI knowledge, you might just double your income. And here you go. Here's some opportunities. You can check them out. So yeah, this one's pretty good. You would have to have that consulting knowledge first, but it's a little easier to get into than a lot of different types of traditional consulting careers. But with that being said, it's still a little hard to get into. I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an AI subject matter expert. And this is somebody who has expertise in AI technologies, algorithms, and applications to guide development, implementation, and optimization of AI systems. And these professionals are typically hired by tech companies, research institutions, consulting firms, and large enterprises across various different industries, such as healthcare, finance, e-commerce, and even telecommunications. So for instance, you might be a subject matter expert specifically for AI that's implemented for telecommunications companies. And subject matter experts make about 58 to 90 $97,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. So it really helps to specialize here and really niche down and find something very specific. But yeah, this one can be really good. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a lower level position you can get into a lot easier than many of the other ones on the list. And that is going to be an AI research analyst. So if you've ever wanted a backstage pass to the AI research world, there's never been a better time to get into it than right now because the demand is much higher than the supply. And AI AI research analysts make about $79,000 to $118,000 a year. And basically, you're going to be like the Robin to the Batman, and the Batman is the AI researcher. And then you're just going to dive into the world of data, and you're going to assist in designing experiments and even dabble in a little bit of coding. So yeah, this is another one where 10 years ago and probably 10 years in the future, it'd be very hard to get into. But right now, there's a lot of opportunities. And here you go. Here's some opportunities. You can check them out. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't seen it already, I did a video on 10 no interview remote jobs that people are always hiring for and nobody talks about enough. And that video actually went viral and you can check it out by clicking right here.